we're trying to bring a new technology into the anatomy lab to make it faster, easier, and more fun to do anatomy. Essentially, what we've done is use something called the Xbox Connect, which was originally designed for the Connect video game system. What the Xbox Connect is, is a 3D camera, and so it's able to take your gestures and motions and convert them into a language that the computer can understand. We're then able to build new layers of experience around uh, the human body as we're dissecting. This project arose from a conversation that Alex and I had where he was telling me about an application of Connect that he had used to streamline workflow for radiologists. And it immediately seemed to me to be a wonderful idea in the Gross app for two reasons. For one thing, the Gross Anatomy lab schedules now are rather compressed in terms of time. And so anything that makes um, our work in the lab go quicker and more efficiently is great. The other thing that it inspired was saving that time, we can do a lot more interesting things with it. So one of our hopes in streamlining and at the same time enriching the Gross Anatomy lab experience for our students was to come up with a single platform, a single interface, by which they could do the core materials and also embellish it with additional resources. Beyond just radiology, though, there's many of these resources that the faculty are always encouraging students to look at. So, for example, there might be a clinical video of some procedure that's very relevant to a dissection we're doing on a particular day. And so when you're in the middle of dissection with a paper dissector, it's very hard to pull that up. But using the Connect, using computer dissection, you can just pull up that particular video. You can actually directly ask the device to move to the right page. Connect, open video. It also allows you to create new ways of teaching and learning. So for example, lots of research in anatomy and other fields show that students learn best when they're actually doing. And so when Trudy lectures, she often says, everyone abduct your arm, everyone adduct your arm, and the whole class will do something like this. And what we're able to do with the Connect is to actually see if students are doing that and doing it correctly. Instead of looking at flashcards, we actually have live action flashcards. For example, you might externally rotate your forearm, and the Connect will see that you've done the gesture correctly. If they've studied something and they think they've learned it, they want to verify right away that they have it right or not. So I think that our students very much like the idea of being able to do self-assessment fairly frequently. So the uh, impact on, on learning as a, from a student's perspective is really the ability to understand these concepts in new ways. We have so many different ways in which we're supposed to learn medicine. We're supposed to learn the anatomy, the physiology, the radiology, the pathology. And really using this technology enables you to bring this all together. The so one set of particularly difficult radiology that students have to learn is the radiology of the abdomen and the chest. In order to do that, we have a set of CT images, but the CT images are slices across the body. And it's very hard to relate this one slice with the actual body. So what we can do is we can actually have the Connect learn where the top and the bottom of this set of CT images is and then scroll up and down using gestures. So you start by indicating where the top of the CT slice is, like this, and where the bottom of the CT slice is, like this. And then you can scroll up and down and say, I wonder what the CT scan looks like right here and it'll pull up that image. And this is very much in keeping with a trend in medical education theory right now where we're moving away from the idea that there are visual learners versus auditory learners versus other kinds of learners. And what we know now is that the more brain centers you can activate, the better retention is. Going forward, we're interested in quantifying specific metrics like how often students are using these external resources that we think are very valuable to their learning. And also, because only a certain subset of the medical school class has access to this technology, we're very easily able to do a randomized experiment to see how student performance changes when given access to the technology from the HILT project versus standard computer technology versus the paper dissector. Welcome to the anatomy lab of the 21st century.